Gabby Lang with The Weekender. And on 97.9X is Mike Duffy, and here's what's up in music this week. Slipknot might finally drop that elusive unreleased album next year. Look Outside Your Window was recorded by the band back in 2008, and it's been a long time tease whether or not the band would ever drop it. But it sounds like in 2024, after years of pushbacks, we might finally get to listen. Over the weekend in San Francisco, the Foo Fighters surprised the crowd with Michael Buble. It's becoming a running concert gag that the Foo Fighters invite a fan on stage and they sing the Buble song, I Just Haven't Met You Yet. To the crowd's surprise, this time, Dave Grohl picks somebody out from the audience and it's Michael Buble himself. That's crazy. That's awesome. In his latest Twitter or X feed, Falling in Reverse lead singer Ronnie Rocky is going after taking back Sunday frontman Adam Lazar. Rocky said Lazar has been bad-mouthing him for the past decade and he even went out to call out his alcohol intake and live singing. Oof. Story of the Year announced they're going out on tour this fall to celebrate 20 years of their uh, Page Avenue album. Now they'll be joined by Four Years Strong, also We the Kings and Youth Foundation at different points on the tour following their August shows with Yellow Card. Atreyu drops a new four-song EP on August 18th. The Moment You Find Your Flame is the latest from this mainstay metalcore band. With just four songs in press, the band made sure each one was a standalone hit. And finally, Gabby, did you know that guitar slinger Joe Perry apparently reached out to Chris Daughtry about taking over the mic from Steven Tyler for Aerosmith? No, Can I did you not. Imagine? <laughs> it was apparently revealed that when uh, Steven Tyler at odds with the band and threatening to walk back in the late 2000s, the band approached him, the American Idol uh, alum, and they wanted him to sing. Didn't happen, but... Wow, can you imagine Chris Daughtry and Aerosmith? That would be something. Yeah. For more rock music news and entertainment news, you can check out theweekender.com and 979x.com.